Welcome to the second video. If you recall correctly, this previous video was on Corsairs, trying to manipulate the JavaScript over there, but that was a little bit too simple. Um, I'm pretty sure a lot of people are going to agree that th there was almost nothing to really do. I mean, if you just have the absolute basic JavaScript knowledge, then you should be able to do that kind of thing whenever you want. Um, you, you don't actually need any real technical skills or anything like that so you know the the tutorial almost kind of seemed like a waste but it was an it was an interesting introduction to how we actually go about JavaScript programming JavaScript hacking whatever you want to call it um, but now we're going to go on to us on to the next one which is going to be a little bit harder than the previous Coursera's we're going to go on to math battle so the the current score let's just keep in mind is okay 83 is a top high score so let's play math battle see what uh, do we have over here okay so let's go with press f12 nothing happens that's probably because they disabled that so now they're trying to make it a little bit harder and if we go to the where's it sources here's the javascript and okay this is a little bit different so it's not formatted or anything so what we can do is this little thingy over here just click it and there we go it's all nice JavaScript is all formatted but now everything is a little bit harder to find um, if you have a look the the function names are single letters uh, the variables are letters and everything so obviously this person has gone through a little bit of effort to make this harder to read um, but definitely not impossible as it's running on the the client side it has to be readable for the browser so if it's readable for the, if it's readable for the browser it should be readable for us um, it's not always going to be easy but it is definitely readable um, and if you if you notice over here we we don't have what we had in the previous um, video where we actually had func uh, variables right up at the top they were global there's nothing like that over here we have one function and there's one function runs as soon as it's loaded as you can see by these brackets so as soon as this function is loaded it runs and then now it's going to be hard to actually access it so if you have a look over here let's let's find something let's see if we can find score again okay so we have share score um, share score is going to be a function we don't want that ah okay so now we're going to have, okay, the, the score is going to be D dot score. So let's just add over there, my score is zero. Okay, let's actually get a score. Okay, three. So now my score is three. So if we were right, then this would be three. But now the issue is we don't have access to it. Like This is in a separate function. So now it's going to be a little bit harder than the previous one. So how do we actually access the score? Well, what we can do is, as soon as it gets to this line, let's add a breakpoint. So now, if we restart and we actually update, then as soon as it hits this line, it's now going to pause. So this is perfect. Now we actually, now if we try run dscore, can I read property of undefined? Why is it undefined? Okay, let's actually have a look. We oh because this line hasn't actually run yet, so e and the, the whatever variable b b zero so e of zero is gonna be ah this looks like the high score list um, as you can see e is definitely no it, it's you, you wouldn't guess that that is all the the high scores. So this is, but we know now that, okay, E is the, the high scores. But D is going to be E of zero. So now if we have a look, we go, hmm, okay. So now if we try and step over, then now we should have a value for D. So now if we try run D dot score, we get 83. But 83 is not our score. 83 was the high score. So obviously we're now interpreting 
we're now going through all the scores to see okay did we actually make did we get the high score mm, but the, this is it's a clear dead end um, or if we want we can actually have a look what is E? E A R. that we already have E B B E dot land we already have all this like th this is going to be very hard to actually now find out so e this is all just okay so this is just going to make the the high score list so that's going to be completely useless so we, we don't want this so that, that was a bad place to stop so let's try again score again okay set score ooh this is now going to be interesting so we if this is run is this where we actually going to set the score so let's find out um, we're, we're probably going to have to do this again Wow, got a score of four. Okay, so we didn't hit that breakpoint. So the, this function was not run. Um, get high scores. We don't want that. By the way, in case you're wondering why we can read this but not like a lot of the variables, is because it's a string. Um, often they they don't try change that to be like incredibly hard to read. You can on JavaScript or on the server, but in this case. Um, they just run it through a program and then it does it automatically, but it has to find that uh, API, which it, we don't really want to manipulate. Well, the, the program doesn't want to manipulate just in case it makes a mistake or something, so it leaves it as is. So th this is now good for us. But we don't want high scores. Um, what we want over here, what is it? C.score. Um, C dot score is this going to be anything interesting? The, this almost looks like it's going to go through. It's going to be a for loop. Um, variable C if C dot current if score if C dot score is bigger than a break. Otherwise C equals C dot pass. We don't know what this does, but it seems to be iterating through something, and it is getting the score of something. So let's actually find out what it does. So let, let's put a breakpoint over there see do we get anything oh it does hit okay fantastic but now what does it hit so if we just go through here e what is e okay e is now okay it's still the high score uh, b is undefined d is undefined r is one and if you recall correctly our score is one so I'm just gonna resume this Ignore it. See if we can get a different score. Okay, we're one again. Uh, okay, now we got a score of two. And look at that. A. And this is now two again. So interesting. Let, let's actually break over there and see if we can find if we change that to be higher than what was the score? Eighty-three. Let's say we want um, whatever R is. R is one. We want it to be, let's say, 87, just to be safe. R is equal to 87. And let's just see what that does. So we resume. OK, our score is 1. But look at that. Our score is 87. It's saved here. So obviously, th we were right. This does actually iterate. And um, this was our score. And it's now saved it and passed it on. Let's actually confirm we go on telegram and we find out what is the high score look at that we got 87 okay fantastic we've now done math battle I uh, hope you learned a thing or two and now you actually also get an idea of how to debug in JavaScript and how useful it actually is incredibly useful and thank you for watching I hope that's all